All right, guys, so this video will show you a quick trick um, that involves a registered project in C, how you can uh, share your data with maybe a third party without having to share the whole project with them. Um, so uh, let's delve into it. So we have a registered project. This is a uh, project that involves a jet or it was a plane or something that we actually scanned just for fun. Uh, everything's registered. You see we have, what is it, eight scans that are all done. Now, if you happen to have uh, your counterpart and that counterpart happens to have just the raw scans from your SD card or unregistered scans, what you can have that counterpart do, uh, have him start a new project. I'll call it unregistered project. This unregistered project, we will just import the raw scans from. So pretend that this is the SD card. I happen to have uh, the raw scans uh, right here. This could be from an SD card or from the scene project itself. But this means these are unregistered, meaning if I go into Explore and I actually view my 3D data, nothing will be coming up because nothing's loaded so we will just hit the load button over here but you will see that the scans come in they just are in their random placement not very accurate it's basing it on gps so it's kind of okay but you will see that the scans are definitely wrong so we're looking at an unregistered scan project right now almost well, definitely not okay, but roughly the GPS kind of guided the positioning of the scanner. Now, without having to ask your counterpart who has all of the scans and the whole project uh, finished, you can actually register these without any work whatsoever, without having to identify uh, any, of the, any of the targets, without having to do a lot of the stuff. And you'll see that I don't have any of these targets uh, identified, meaning there's only pictures in each scan, so there's no spheres, no checkerboards, no anything, even though this um, project was actually registered uh, with targets, and you can see that I have a sphere right there. So, hold on, it's zooming, but mm, you can see the actual targets. So, uh, seeing this uh, now allows uh, you to just overwrite or actually bring in one file. So I'll close this project, I'll hit save because you have to save this for it to actually take place. So we'll hit yes, we'll call it imported raw unregistered scans and we'll have to wait for this to actually finish. It will take a couple of minutes but that's the only uh, lengthy process that you'd have to actually go through if you're going to do it the way I'm about to show you. All right, we are successfully saved over here, revision one. We have a registered project, which might be on the East Coast, somebody that is working on the data, and the unregistered project ended up with the raw data, but didn't end up with the actual results on the West Coast. Um, for example, so there's there's a, a, a large uh, geographical distance between the two guys who are actually working on a project. And without having to get this guy over here to actually zip up his project, upload it to a web page or a FTP site, and then uh, sending it to this guy, uh, him having to download it and unzip it and actually open it up, you can actually share uh, the successful registration from uh, project number or I guess the registered project to the unregistered project just by opening up your browser, going into where the location of your scans are. So I happen to have it under my registered project over here. So I'll go into the registered project in my uh, projects folder. Under registered project, I'll go into my revisions. And depending on how many revisions I have, yes, I only have two revisions in this case. Um, you are looking for a scan file that's called project structure. So I'll right click this project structure, I'll hit copy, I'll go back up, I'll go back up 
up and I will just dump that very file into the revisions folder here. Now, if you are trying to be really careful, what you may want to do is you will go ahead and actually rename this. We'll call this old. That way, uh, when I now paste the new project structure file, it's not going to override the old one. But when I now close this and open up the unregistered project, notice what happens. First of all, I already have a registration. I can hit explore. I have a scan manager. The scan manager has some results on it, whatever accuracy we're actually looking at. But if we now view the same project as we did before in 3D, and I load all the scans, they will now inherit the proper position. So yes, these scans are not processed yet, which means they uh, still need to go through your filtering and your cutting out the noise that you're trying to get out uh, from the scans or from the project, but at least the location of the actual scans is now rectified and you can actually find um, uh, that the registration is finished. So this is a very quick way of instead of um, saving all of your actual scans and send, sending them to somebody, just uh, moving that single file once again, we'll go back to it. I know it's a video and you can actually review, but just dumping this file, which is the project structure DAT file, which is only a 140 kilobyte file that you can easily email to somebody uh, across the world. And as long as they have the same raw data with the same naming, of course, you cannot have these names be different because that uh, file requires you to actually have the same names. But if you have the same scans, with the same names, uh, doing it the way I just showed you will georeference uh, your actual scans and you will also automatically pick up any of the targets that might have been registered and found in person one project, which was the project leader, for example, who already finished the actual registration. All right. I hope this was a useful video and uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below.